So I'm here with Nathan Chan at Field World Europe 2018 here in Barcelona. Thank you so much for coming. It's amazing to have Thanks you. Thanks so much for having me. It's great to be here. You have had the opportunity to speak to a lot of fascinating people. Maybe you could briefly tell our audience why, who you spoke with, and what you learned from that. Yeah, sure thing. Um, so, I've spoken with a lot of successful founders. Um, you know, I, I can name drop like Richard Branson, Ariana Huffington, uh, Mark Cuban, tons of, you know, I guess multimillionaires, billionaires, and, and uh, just really kind of, you know, producing great content for the entrepreneurship space. Um, that's what our company Founder Magazine does. One thing that I've really learned that I, uh, I learned from a really successful founder that, that runs a company called Zero. It's a, it's a accounting SaaS product. Um, one thing that he taught me was around speed and the ability to move as fast as possible. That's his biggest frustration. How can you move faster? And I think when you're building your company or you're building your startup and, you know, that's the thing, like you might be a really small team, but that's your competitive advantage that you have against the, the industry leaders that are, you know, serving the space right now that have the most market share is the speed at which you as a small team can move at. And that's actually something that I always kind of push into our team at Founder because, you know, we're going up against like Entrepreneur Magazine, Forbes, Fast Company. Uh, these, are, these are big companies, media companies that have been around for, you know, decades and we've only been around for a few years and the, the competitive advantage that we have right now is speed. So I'm always, always have this sense of urgency. How can we move faster? How can we get this out faster? And I think that's really, really important as something for someone to take away. Let's move to what you covered on stage actually. So, um, mastery of Instagram, how to use it to build up a brand. So, you've come up with a system, uh, ABC, uh, simple as that. Please share with us what that means and yeah. what people shall do. Yeah, yeah, so basically it comes down to three steps. The first step is you really want to make sure you work as many with as many influences as possible. So in the Instagram world, uh, on the platform, there are people that have personal brands and produce a lot of content and they have a very big following. Some of them don't have big followings, but they have a great relationship with their audience. And you as an affiliate or someone that's selling a physical product or whatever it is you're selling online, you need to collaborate with them and you need to work with them. And you essentially need to create partnerships with them where you get them to post your content. Um, so that's the first piece of the puzzle. Work with as many influencers as you can and you know, get them to share your content. That's how, you, that's how we've grown the founder Instagram account to over a million plus followers in the past two years and why even today when people say all this rubbish like, oh, the algorithm, it doesn't work anymore and all this stuff, that's why our Instagram account grows 1,500, 2,500 new followers a day. You know, we'll be at 2 million followers late, later this year, right? right. And, and it all comes from working with influencers at scale and producing, then that's the first step. Second step is to produce content, like really, really great content. I know it, it's very simple, it sounds very obvious, but it's something that a lot of people don't focus on. If you just focused on that one thing, of producing the best possible content for your market on a consistent basis, then you will be able to win and you'll be able to grow your account. Because if you produce great stuff for your market, people will share it with their friends. And then the third piece of the puzzle is kind of, I guess, you know, utilizing some of the uh, strategies like uh, doing giveaways and competitions, um, you know, using direct message to generate sales, um, engaging with other uh, brands or other big accounts and writing, commenting and liking uh, that all, if you put it all together, that works, works really that, well. That, that's pretty cool. I've, I've actually learned a lot from, about Instagram uh, and influencer marketing from uh, my conversations with uh, Greta Van Real. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, one thing I would like to dive into um, is how to actually identify the right kind of influencers. How did you do it for your media and for your account? Yeah, yeah, so for founder, um, it really depends. So like, uh, I've got a few different companies, but for Founder, um, we looked for the people that we had on the front covers of our magazine. 
like Gary V and you know th those kind of people. Um, but then also we've found like niche accounts that have big followings and we get them to share our content. Um, and we do what's called a share for share, shout out for shout out, where we share their content and they share ours. Um, for the physical product based business that I have, um, I have a rule where we only work with influencers that have a YouTube channel and we only work with influencers that yeah either have a YouTube channel or they've been on TV. Why? Because they have a tremendous amount of authority and a strong the strongest relationship I've seen with their audiences. Video is so powerful. Um, so that's how I identify them and they have to have great engagement. Right. You can't get a return if they don't have a great engaged account with a good relationship with their audience. So like look for an engagement of two to five percent like to follow a ratio. So if someone has 50,000 followers, make sure they have at least, at minimum, at minimum, 1,000 likes per image, at minimum. If they have 100,000, if they have 100,000 followers, more the better. If they get three to 4,000 or 5,000 likes per image, then really, really strong. They get hundreds of comments, really, really strong. Um, so they're the things you want to look for. Also. Uh, if they have their email address in their bio, in their profile, that, that means you know they're open for business. That means you can work with them. That means you can send them emails and pitch them and say, hey, we love what you're doing. We'd love to send you this product. Um, you know, we'd love to get some content from you. And that's where the real power is as well. The content that you get from the influencer that, you know, of them with the product or them using the product, that's where the real gold is. Because people buy from other people that, you know, they know, like, and trust. And, and it's like a case study. It's like, a you know, this person's using this product. And you can take an aspirational style image where, it's, you know, it's somebody that perhaps someone aspires to look like or be or living a lifestyle that someone looks has. And you use that content to sell on your Instagram page, but then also using it in your Facebook ads and your media buying. Of course, yeah. You yeah. repurpose that. Okay. Yeah, it's what's and called user-generated content. So let's stick to content for another question. Um, so this is content that is produced by influencers, but obviously you want to have your own content as well. Um, you mentioned earlier that it is easy to create content. Uh, I personally don't think this is true for many people out there. Uh, if you believe it's easy, maybe you can share a couple of uh, hacks yeah. how to make it easy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. So um, I say it's easy because you get other people to do it for you. <laughs> that's what's, that, 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 that's why I say it's easy because you work with influencers, you get other people to do it for you. But another, a good hack, a good hack I got for you it, on how to get other people to do it for you, yeah, as long as you have a physical based product, okay, as long as you have a physical based product, is when you're sending out that physical based product, put a card, attach a card to when the package is going out, when it's being picked and packed, on the on the condition that you're not drop shipping, send it with a card. And with that card, what you want to say is welcome to, you know, the name of the company's family. And you want to say, hey, we randomly choose someone every week, repost a photo of you using the product using this hashtag. We have hundreds of images for people you looking like looking using the magazine, using the founder book. Nice, nice. That's you actually right. put it in every package, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> of course, man. Of course. Yeah. Well, this was very valuable uh, to me personally, uh, certainly, and hopefully for our audience as well. Thank you so much for sharing that. Oh, it's a pleasure so having much. you. Absolute Thank you. Pleasure.